my room is in shambles i really need to clean it but i just got a very exciting package from papier let's go unbox that right now they are this like really cute stationary brand it's rare to find stationary brands where you can really have fun and just customize things and a lot of their planners you can customize so with the back to school season i feel like papier is definitely a great website to check out in terms of like back to school shopping they sent over two little pr boxes so we're gonna start off with this one i'm very very excited Look at the packaging. The packaging is so stunning. It says, where plans become podcasts, where doodles become designs, where lists become lunches. I love all of the like wrapping, like the detail and everything on it is just so nice. They've actually sent me some of their planners before in the past. In 2021, they sent me their academic planner and I loved just the format of everything and how cute the designs were. So I'm really excited. This is the first one. Pop of color orange with a big are on it and this is the academic planner so for the school year and it's really nice because this one has like scheduled spreads already kind of there for you it has like a spot for you to put in your schedule it has like a section on deadlines it has like a spread for the month before the month kind of starts and then it has like the monthly overview like the classic calendar overview for you to put like important dates and things in and then pretty much the rest of it are these weekly spreads that are kind of outlined for you so it has like each day of the week and a column for you to make like a to-do list and then at the bottom it has like a note section so this one is actually dated which is really nice and it has these stunning like two little ribbons as well for you to use as like little page markers but this is just so cute and i just love the quality of their planners like i'm actually obsessed sent over two other notebooks they sent over this one that says notes and thoughts i really love this like minimal look and this one is just a lined notebook which is really nice this is like the best format for journaling is like having the lines i always just like spontaneously will start random ideas for journals so it's always nice to have like blank journals on hand oh my God, i love this it comes with this note that says from papier with love a little bit of paper goes a long way this is the third one that they sent over Ooh, okay i'm actually so excited for this one like i saw this design and i was like oh this looks like the, one of those like really cute notebooks that you might buy in paris just like how stunning is this and then on top of that it's my favorite format it's a grid i'm obsessed i personally like more of like a blank feel like i really love bullet journals so i think i'm gonna use this actually as like my bullet journal for the 2023 2024 academic year and just have this be like my general planner because i like just the flexibility that comes with it but i absolutely love this design they also sent this other box the other day very exciting so it comes with this set of their four mini highlighters i love how they put like the little tissue paper like it feels like you're just opening one of those like fancy boxes of chocolate these are the colors i love 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 pastel highlighters so i'm very excited to try these out and they're so mini and cute they also sent over a pencil pouch this is this pink and orange checkered pencil pouch and it just zips open and then last but not least they sent over a set of these academic stickers which ugh, i love stickers actually can't wait to use these so those are the ones that like come in this like set these are really nice for planning definitely check out papier thank you so much to papier for sending all of this like i love their designs definitely check out papier if you are doing some back to school shopping and looking for some cute new stationery for the new year i know i used to love this stuff in high school like i would eat this stuff up i loved having the cutest school supplies and back to school shopping was my favorite time of the year being in college i definitely miss it because it's just not as exciting as it was when i was in primary school for sure my sister ordered a poster off of shutterfly that just came in the mail so she wants me to take her to daiso to get like the double-sided roll of that foam tape honestly i've gotten questions before in the past like how do i tape stuff up on my walls like in my dorms and things like how do i put together my collage walls 
and I really recommend Daiso's double-sided foam tape. It's really cheap and it's it'll last you years and years and years. Like I used to have a collage wall in that corner of my room that I put up during the pandemic and it lasted like two, three years. None of the pho photos honestly fell off until it was time for me to take them down. So we're gonna go to Daiso. Now that I think about it, actually I do need to get a couple rolls for myself because I'm planning on doing my last, probably my last collage wall in my room next year so i do need to get a roll for move in and then i have been needing to do like a makeup restock on some products so i'm planning on doing a target and a sephora run to just get some stuff like i literally i'm so excited i made a list of all the things that i need so from target i need to get some clear gloss i want to look for their lip oils because i was hanging out with my friend yesterday and she was telling me that target has some lip oils like nyx has a lip oil apparently so i want to try out some of those i need to restock on powder blush i use powder blush to like set my rare beauty blush i want to look for a foundation because i do have my tom ford foundation there's like a little bit of it left but i want to try out some other foundations for when that runs out i may just stick to the tom ford one or i might switch back to like some drugstore options because before i used to use a lot more foundation now i only really just use a little bit to like conceal i'm gonna try and see if they have like a good drugstore foundation in my shade and then from sephora i want to pick up some of the merit brow pomade that's what i use on my brows i've been out of that product for like months now and i've been needing to go back and get a refill on that and then summer fridays has a lip i'm literally gonna have to look this up because i genuinely cannot remember the name lip balm it's like the butter lip balm it's the essentials the everyday essentials lip balm and everyone is like raving wait everyone is raving about this lip balm so i want to check it out at sephora i may or may not get it i've gone to sephora like a few times in the past couple months and every time i go i almost get it i might get it today i'm also out of my ordinary niacinamide serum i'm gonna check at target what options they have for niacinamide because while i've been using the ordinary i know target now has niacinamide serum and other brands so i want to check out other brands see if they're any good very excited i will give you guys a haul of everything i get when i'm back i'm very excited i love shopping for makeup it's like one of my favorite things. I didn't end up going to Target or Sephora. We have an Ulta Beauty right next to Daiso and I was literally just gonna pop in and like browse around, see if I could find some of the things on my list that were at Target or Sephora. And I ended up finding a lot of good stuff. I will say a few of the things that I wanted to get on my list, you can only really find at Sephora, but I figured this would be a good opportunity to like try out some new makeup products and see if i like them better like quite a few of these are definitely like drugstore makeup dupes to some of the more higher end makeup that i would typically gravitate towards i feel like i've been reusing the same makeup products over and over again for the past like two years or so so i feel like it's time to like change things up the one skincare item that i needed was the niacinamide serum from the ordinary and i decided to try this brand called good molecules do you guys like good molecules because i've seen them before but i've never actually tried it and they had a bunch of different like skincare stuff so they had a niacinamide serum and it just came with a lot more than the ordinary one so i figured like let me try this one out this one's like the bigger size it's the 75 ml um and 2.53 fluid ounces it's 10 percent niacinamide to refine signs of texture and improve the appearance of pores you can use this in the morning and night i use my serums right after i wash my face before i like moisturize put any other topicals and sunscreen so it's like the first thing that goes on my skin and niacinamide has improved my skin so much in the past year so it's always a must in my skincare routine for sure but i'm excited to try this out and see if i like it better than the ordinary serum or if it just works just as well 
The powder blush that I was mentioning before, I don't even know if this is the correct shade because it looks a little bit lighter than the one that I usually use. I'm just gonna have to like try it on my skin and like see if it's like a good match, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a little too light. If it's too light, I'm just gonna give it to my younger sister because she's a little bit lighter than me, but I really like this brand, um, the Maybelline Fit Me Blush to set my blush after I use like a cream blush. As much as I really like the dewy makeup look, if you want your makeup to last, like hours and hours and hours i definitely recommend setting your cream products with powder powder products sometimes i'll use just the rare beauty sometimes i'll use just this a lot of the times i'll use both i was running out of clear gloss so i just got this clear gloss i don't try and get like any specific brand when it comes to clear gloss because it's literally just clear lip gloss i saw that maybelline came out with this line of clean fresh lip glosses and they're very sheer so i got this pink one let me actually try it on i'm excited to like try it on because i have no idea how this is gonna come out oh wait that's actually really sheer i personally i don't love like my lip products to be super pigmented like i like the more sheer products that's why i really like lip oils and i think this one's really cute also it smells like strawberries and then my friend told me yesterday about the nyx fat oils there are these like little mini lip oils and the applicator is nice and like it's like a big it's like a thick applicator which i love when it comes to lip products like my biggest pet peeve is when you when i buy like a lip product and the applicator is tiny so i got this like caramel brownish color this one's in the shade scroll in there was like a darker shade there's like a darker brown to this but i wanted to try this color because i feel like i don't have like a caramel brown color and with fall coming up i wanted more of like an orangey brown we'll see how i like this one even if i don't love the color it comes in a bunch of different colors usually the brow product that i like to use is the merit brow gel from sephora but i figured i might as well just get everything from ulta so i don't have to like drive all the way to sephora so i got this elf brow gel this is in the shade dark brown it doesn't even come with that much but i didn't want to get anything super expensive just in case i don't love it what i look for in a brow gel is something that's not going to be super pigmented because i feel like my eyebrows are pretty full i just like i just want something that's kind of kind of gonna set my brows but then add just a little bit of a tint to it a tinted brow gel hopefully i like this this is the elf wow brow honestly elf props to elf because i feel like elf has been expanding like they had so many products i was this close to buying the elf primer and the elf setting spray but i had to hold myself back on that the last thing that i picked up was some brown eyeliner i like to use the l'oreal infallible aligners i love these i was just running out of brown and i don't mind using black it's just like for an on a more like regular casual basis i like brown eyeliner because it's not as like harsh these basically come with like the actual liner on one side and then i don't really know what exactly this is on the other side but it has this little oh it has like a little sponge on the end just in case like you want to smudge it love these these are tried and true we also went to five and below because they have a five and below on the same street usually i don't like going to this five and below because the five and below closer to my house actually has better stuff but i was actually so shocked because there have been like two things that i've been really needing to get from five and below i thought i'd need to like place an online order because i haven't really been seeing them in store but first of all it's a disco ball because i have my other one that i bought from five and below like two years ago for my first ever dorm but it's getting a little bit old it's like gotten banged up in the in the move so a lot of the the glass shards have like fallen off i also wanted to get a sunset lamp in my dorm last year sophia got a sunset lamp from five and below and it was like it was so pretty it was blue pink and purple and it was like this ombre color kind of similar to this actually it's not like it would change colors like the one that i have at home it would just stay that one color so i wanted to get that but they didn't have ex that exact color but they had this one that's like purple and yellow which is gonna be cute and yeah i just wanted to get a cheaper one because i like to keep my nice one at home so that i have like a some kind of light light to use at home because when i'm at school i take my sunset lamp and everything like that so i don't have any good lighting at home and one thing about me you guys is i hate turning off 
turning on my overhead lighting after it's 7 p.m i turn off all the over overhead lighting and i put my room into what i call night mode that's something that my that we coined this year about our dorm is like we would turn off the overhead lighting we would turn on the salt lamp and the uh, sunset lamp and that and it would just create this like vibe in the room it's like the little things like these that i always recommend to people to invest when dorm shopping because it just makes your space feel more at home especially when you're going to college like really far away from home the things you put into your space really do matter moving in in less than a week so i have a bunch of errands that i need to run in preparation for that i need to pick up some prints for my collage wall i need to run to best buy to look for like a charger that i'm missing and then i need to look for an air mattress because my sister is going to be staying with me my first week before classes start i'm going up like a week early just to move everything in and get settled before classes start to give myself like a little bit of a buffer i ordered my shutterfly pictures like months ago but unfortunately yet again i sent them to the wrong address so this time i had to like modify my order because i don't really have time to wait for it to ship here and i don't want it to like ship to my new place and get lost so i'm just doing like the pickup order through my local walgreens but in order to do that you have to have like the specific four by seven dimension and it has to be glossy which usually i like to order five by seven so that they're like a little bit bigger and then i like to do matte instead of glossy because then they look more like a poster in life you can't get everything so i'm gonna go pick those up they should be ready in like the next hour but i'm very excited to take a look at those i just put together pictures off of pinterest pretty much and i can link my pinterest in the description box if you guys want to like see my board and the pictures that i used i love putting together collage walls i feel like it's like one of the easiest ways to just like customize and like make your space feel personal especially in college no, I, ain't to Atlantic, no. the truck in this I fully keep on forgetting to vlog in the stores as i'm shopping this is the situation Sophia gave me her camcorder, which was honestly just so generous. Like, I actually am in shock. But she bought this camcorder back in February, used it throughout, like, all of our junior year, took such fire footage. So all of the camcorder footage that you guys saw in, like, my vlogs these past couple months were from this camcorder. She had a really terrible move out situation long story short she like lost most of her belonging like 80 percent of her belongings including the charger to this camera so she gave me the camera but she was like you need to go like find the charger to it and this is like an old camcorder that she got off of ebay i want to say it's really really hard to find like the type of charger that works with this camera that's the main issue because one of my other friends was trying to get this same camcorder she even got it but the problem was it didn't but it didn't come with a charger and so she ended up having to buy a new camcorder because she couldn't find like the charger to this camcorder so i've been on the hunt i like bought a charger off of amazon i literally just looked up this camera and this is the charger that came up for it but i tried it and it didn't fit so i'm at whole foods right now about to return it and then i went to best buy today to see i brought the camera in to see if they could figure out like exactly the charger i need for this camera and they didn't have it because it's such an old type of like outlet but they did have one of these like universal battery chargers where basically like any type of camera battery charger can be charged with this this is like from the brand digipower so thank god i'm praying this works out um i'm gonna try it as soon as i get home because otherwise i don't i genuinely don't know what i'm gonna do like there's really not much else i can do it was a pretty penny though like genuinely when i saw the total my heart dropped because it was like 50 dollars. but if it works like this is worth it because otherwise i can't get any use out of the camera and then i went to walmart and i picked up an air mattress um for when my sister stays i also picked up a fitted sheet like a, just a plain white fitted sheet the sh i just realized like as i was getting this air mattress that the sh like bedding that i have like the sheets 
that I have from my dorm last year are for like twin XL because it was for like the college beds, but I'm living off campus. So my bed's gonna be a regular twin. So I needed a fitted sheet because the regular sheet you can kind of use on anything, but like the fitted sheet is like specific to those dimensions. Thank God I caught that before I left because that would have been just like one other thing I would have had to worry about with moving. These are the prints. I'm not the happiest with the quality because the quality is not the best on these. Like on all of the photos at the bottom, it has like this strange uh, wash at the bottom. Like I don't even know how to describe it, but I mean, it's okay. At least it came. I was also a little frustrated because one of the prints that I ordered, it printed out like eight of these. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these extras. I'm definitely gonna keep one of these for my room at home, but I'm happy that I at least have them all ready to go. So then when I move in, they're easy to put up. I kind of tried to stick to somewhat of a color scheme. Like I did a lot of greens, browns, a lot of blue. It's not like one set color. And I think when I put it up too, like I don't wanna make it straight even rows. I want, kind of want it to look a little bit like a collage, but I'm excited to see how this like comes together the next two days are gonna be super busy so today we're gonna run some errands and we're gonna get all of my like last minute essentials that i need i also need to stop at the bank and just get like little quarters for laundry so that i have like a good stockpile at the least i have like a list on my phone of everything we need i actually cannot believe i'm gonna be leaving in like three days that's insane to me this summer has gone by so quickly Yet again, I forgot to vlog while I was shopping because I was with my sister and so I got distracted, but I did want to show you guys, I finally picked up the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. When I tell you guys, this has been all over my For You page. This was fully, not just a TikTok purchase, but like also people in my life have been recommending this lip balm like no other. I got the brown sugar one. This is what it looks like. I've already tried it on, but I figured I would show you guys what it looks like. I really love the formula. Look how pretty that is, especially for the fall. Love it. I'm obsessed. I love the formula. This stuff literally fulfills my childhood dreams because I used to love this kind of stuff. It's like a blend between like a chapstick and a lip gloss and I'm obsessed. It also smells like hot chocolate. Like what? my backpack came in the mail i did buy a new backpack i got the fial raven kankin in black this is my last kankin you guys like i i'm a huge fan of these backpacks i've been wearing these backpacks since high school i really wanted to stretch the one that i used last year for another year especially since i use my telfar i would say about 50 percent of the times like half the times i use a backpack or a tote bag and then half the times i would say i use a backpack but my backpack from last year has a hole at the bottom so there was just really nothing i could do about it and so i had to get one i contemplated just going a year without a backpack but there are just certain days where like you have so many things in your bag that you just need a backpack like it's too much to put on your shoulders and also it's really nice for traveling like as a carry-on too so i'm thinking because i'll be still i'll still continue wearing my telfar and i'll still continue using like my telfar and other tote bags this should be able to last me like the next three four years it better or i'm suing right now i'm in the process of editing this week's podcast episode for disclaimers aside it's on how to start a podcast episode it should be out by now so i'll have the link to it in the description box luckily i have pre-recorded episodes for the next like i want to say like month or two so i don't have to worry too much about like recording podcast episodes i personally recommend like if you're someone who has a podcast and you're in school to pre-record because it's so nice not having to like think about recording episodes especially like guest episodes because that kind of takes some time to coordinate but i'm like coming towards the end of my batch of like pre-recorded episodes so i'm gonna have to start recording some episodes again soon I'm gonna 
of ugly if I'm being honest. Like it's not that pretty. Guys, it's it so good. Ugly. I'm telling you guys. Okay, you guys ready? It's delicious. Take that down. <laughs> That's enough. Okay, I want to get a video of your guys' reaction. Okay. Trying it for the first time. The middle one. This is not the first time we're trying it. Yeah, this is fake. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs>